Number 61, professional application. Letter A. A five kilogram squid initially at rest ejects 0.25 kilograms of fluid with a velocity of 10 uh, meters per second. What is the recoil velocity of the squid if the ejection is done in 0.1 seconds and there is a five Newton frictional force opposing the squid's uh, movement? All right, so basically two frames. First, what I'm gonna do is I uh, would like to find the, uh, what do we, yeah. I would actually like to find the final velocity, all right, after the ejection occurs. So uh, basically, what I wanna do here is realize that the value of 10, right, I'm just looking back to the problem, the value of 10 meters per second, it's, it says that um, the, this fluid, right, uh, 2.5 kilogram fluid is ejected with this particular velocity. Okay, 10 meters per second. So that is the ejection velocity. So now in order to find the final velocity then of the squid after um, he or she, whatever the gender of the squid is, uh, ejects this fluid, we can use the formula that I'm gonna continue writing here times the ln of the initial mass divided by the final mass, okay? So uh, that final velocity right after ejection, all right, is what we're looking for. And the ejection velocity here was 10, right, meters per second, times the natural log of the initial mass. And it says uh, the squid was five kilograms, right, to start. And then it ejects 0.25 kilograms. So therefore, the final mass would be five minus 0 0.25. So what's the final here? Now, it's going to be 10 times the natural log of five divided by essentially 4.75, right? And what do we get? So we get a value here of 0.513 or so, 513, okay? That is in meters per second. Now, that's the velocity right after, okay? Right after the squid ejects um, this fluid, okay? But now, right after, the uh, ejection of the fluid occurs. The squid is then moving, I guess, right, in water. And now there's this five Newton frictional force that is going to be um, acting on the squid for 0.1 second. So now this final velocity I found in the first frame of the problem really will become my new initial velocity, okay? So the initial velocity of now the next frame, uh, the squid is gonna start out at this speed and then it's going to hit a five Newton frictional force for that amount of time. So what equation can we use now? Well, I'm thinking about this one, right? The final velocity is equal to the initial velocity plus the acceleration multiplied by time. And you might say, well, what is the acceleration? I don't know what it is. Well, remember, um, think back to forces, right? Uh, force is equal to mass times acceleration. Therefore, if I divide out the mass from both sides, I see that the force divided by the mass should be uh, equal to uh, A, right? The acceleration that that object is experiencing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug this in, okay, for acceleration. But the trick is, what is the mass? Well, remember, it's not the initial mass of the squid because after the squid ejected this amount of fluid, its weight is no longer five kilograms, right? As it's moving in the water now, it's really 4.75 uh, kilograms. All right, so I'm going to put, just put a little A here for mass after ejection. So now this becomes, let me just change the color back. So now this becomes the final velocity will equal the initial velocity plus the force applied, which is the frictional force divided by the mass after, okay, uh, ejection, multiplied then by the time. So I think we have everything we need now, right? So the final velocity is equal to the initial velocity. We already talked about that that's the initial so this is about 0.513. Minus then, because minus y, because the force of friction is negative, okay? That's opposing the motion, so this is 5.00 over the mass, right, after the ejection, which was 4.75, multiplied by the time of 0.1. And now all we have to do is just plug it on into the calculator. So let's take that value, subtract then 5 divided by 4.75 times 0.1. And there we got it. So we got a value of 0 0.408 about if we consider rounding, okay? 408 meters per second. And that will be the final velocity of Senor Squid.
Guys, thank you so very much. Please remember to subscribe, and I will see you in the last question of this chapter. Take care.